you have been massively diverted in this programme from what has actually happened and why. What is going on at the moment, worldwide, and particularly in Europe, is an attempt to shut down any and all criticism of Islam, one religion alone. I'll hold up for a moment. Don't worry, it's not a cartoon of Mohammed. You don't have to get scared. This is the Christmas edition of Private Eye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, soon checking out That's Rubbish. The last one shows of smug Muslim with uncomfortable truth. Guys, let's get straight into this. Um, Ashgar Bagara here in the studio with me. When we look at that poll, public opinion sees, sees these. They don't see them as being, as you say, racist. They just see them as being cartoons about religion. A, I would say most people probably haven't even seen them. Two, and well, that's because because they're not being published in any of the right, mainstream papers. Rightly so. Rightly so. You, we wouldn't we wouldn't um, uh, publish black people, as I said, as, as zoo animals. So why should we why should we treat the Muslims any different? Why are we Whoa. less human? Why do we have less feelings? And why are our lives not affected by this type of why demagoguery? Is it but it's, it's not like... it's not just the, the cartoons that, that you're referring to and, and comparing them to cartoons, comparing black people to apes. It's not just cartoons. It's things like the, the Museum of Metropolitan Art in New York removing all historical representations quietly of Muhammad from its galleries. Well, well, there are lots of, of mainstream uh, images of Muhammad that are not shown and they're, they're, not, they're not in any way offensive. The, the, the problem with this is, is it's seeing, being seen, and I believe wrongly, through the prism of freedom of speech. Those attacks yesterday are really to be seen through the prism of the war on terror. The, the, the Al-Qaeda Yemen uh, 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 alleged to ha have carried out the attack. Uh, it was the foreign policy that, uh, that has polarised this world, both on, on both sides, that is creating extreme reaction extreme human beings on, on both sides of this world and that is just another um, symptom of what's happening in the war of terror. If we really want to uh, dig into this, and, and don't, do don't remove images of the prophet from a mm. museum. Get to the root, pro root uh, uh, of this and this is the and devastation across the world. Are cartoonists the right targets in the war on terror, do you think? Uh, absolutely not, but then uh, I would argue that these cartoon cartoonists should never have been killed. Of course they shouldn't, but they're still racist. It's not. A, it's not a, 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 a. Either we support the terrorists or we support the racists. No, we can have have a have a middle ground. This is. I don't support these terrorists. I don't. I don't kill, killing people for, for disagreeing with me. But neither am I going to support a racist who goes around demonising millions of people. Douglas Murray, do you think these? D Douglas Murray, let's bring you in now. Sorry, these cartoonists. Do you think they were racists? Douglas Murray's interaction with a Muslim commentator in the wake of the Charlie Hebdo incident illuminates a significant and contentious issue the conflation of criticism of religious beliefs with racism. This conflation is not only misleading, but potentially dangerous, as it seeks to shield religious ideas from scrutiny under the guise of fighting racism, thereby stifling free speech. Yeah. The argument presented by the Muslim commentator that satirical depictions of Islamic figures is analogous to racist caricatures of black people is fundamentally flawed. Racism involves prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed against someone of a different race based on the belief that one's own race is superior. It is an attack on the immutable characteristics of a group of people, attributes they did not choose and cannot change. Religion, on the other hand, comprises a set of beliefs and practices that are adopted and can be revised or abandoned. Yeah. Criticism or satire of these beliefs, therefore, is not an attack on an intrinsic characteristic of a person but a commentary on a chosen set of ideas. It's important to distinguish between criticism of Islam as a religion and anti-Muslim bigotry. The former critiques the doctrines and practices of a faith, much like criticisms found against Christianity, Judaism, or any other religion. The latter targets individuals based on their membership in a religious group, which is discriminatory and unacceptable. Yes. Renowned atheists and critics of religion, like Richard Dawkins, have frequently emphasized this distinction advocating for the right to scrutinize religious beliefs without fostering hatred against those who hold those beliefs. Furthermore, the assertion that the Charlie Hebdo cartoonists were racists for their depictions fails to consider the context and purpose of satirical cartoons. Satire is a rhetorical tool that uses irony, sarcasm, and ridicule to critique and challenge the status quo, including powerful religious institutions and figures. The cartoons in question were not an attack on Muslims as a people, but a critique of religious ideologies and the actions of extremists who commit violence in the name of those ideologies. Could I please come in and correct? You've given goodness knows how much time to this extremist, Ashgar Bukhari, to have his say. Could I please now have my say about this? It's only 24 hours since a dozen people were gunned down in their offices in Paris. It's 
really rich that Sky News should be giving this platform at this moment We're giving to this you your platform, who, who sir. Do give yes, us your view. But who, uh, you've also allowed to just smear the people who were murdered so brutally in Paris yesterday. You've just allowed them to smear those people as racist. Not me. Charlie Hebdo, that, Charlie that, Hebdo please, please let me that. please finish my point. Charlie Hebdo, you don't know this, like you don't know any of the background of this, Ashka, but Charlie Hebdo is a secularist, far-left-wing, anti-racist magazine. It has made a particular delight in recent years, quite rightly, of lampooning and attacking very virulently rubbish. the far-right-wing leader, Marine Le Pen. You say rubbish because rubbish. you don't know what you're talking yes, about. Let me make the more important a, a, point on this. Let me make the more important point on this. debate, or are we going to talk Let about the actual issues here? Let me make the important point on this, which is that this is not to do with the war on terror, as Asghar Bukhari wants to That's talk about. This is about freedom of speech. Please, but more please, let, please let him speak. Apologize. Sorry, More sorry, importantly, Dennis, you have been massively diverted in this programme from what has actually happened and why. What is going on at the moment worldwide, and particularly in Europe, is an attempt to shut down any and all criticism of Islam, one religion alone. I'll hold up for a moment. Don't worry, it's not a cartoon of Mohammed. You don't have to get scared. This is the Christmas edition of Private Eye, uh, an, issue, an, an image which on the front cover lampoons, and quite rightly, quite amusing, not very, uh, uh, the Virgin Mary and and Jesus and has various jokes about about where the frankincense should have been bought from and so on. That's perfectly commonplace. But you know what? If anyone had gone into private eyes offices yesterday and massacred the staff because of it in the name of Christianity or Jesus, I think that not only would all of the papers today have been a lot more robust, they would have shown at the very least shown this image to show what the person was who did the killing was so irate about. The fact is that there is something going on which we have to identify. It is an, attack, an attempt in our societies to make Islam, and in particular the founder Islam, immune from any criticism. It cannot be allowed to continue. Douglas Murray's observation points to a broader trend in Western discourse, where criticism of Islam and its founder is often treated with a level of deference not afforded to other religions. Yes. This trend, according to Murray, represents a problematic departure from the principles of free speech and open dialogue that are foundational to liberal democratic societies. Guys, what's wrong with this? And I would honestly say, I honestly believe that people's religion should be respected. This is just my belief, and I honestly believe that the way I think is not the way other people think. There are 80 out there that feel like, now I'm going to come after these people, and they say they worship God, so those who fear God, and there's something Christianity that I believe in is don't judge, so you should not be judged, and don't kill. Like, you're not supposed to kill anybody, part of the Ten Commandments. Like, you're not supposed to kill. And I honestly believe that someone insulting, let's say, for instance, someone insulting Abraham with Jesus. Like, I personally as a Christian, I'm not supposed to judge you or kill you or do anything. Like, I, I feel you should leave judgment for God, and God will deal with the person how he didn't fit. So, I honestly believe that you killing somebody. And hiding under religion is does not make sense. And Islam is trying to build what well, are the followers of Islamic religion is trying to build this kind of fear in people where you cannot say anything bad about them, they'll kill you. If you say anything wrong, you start getting death threats and stuff like that. Like there was a girl in my country where she said some someone posted something about Prophet Muhammad in her class group and she said, You guys should stop posting this stuff here and the next day she went to school, she was beaten to death. See, this this was alarming. Like the video was heartbreaking. Like she was beaten to death. The boys were arrested and there was a riot saying the boys should be released. And they were they were big men of the country supporting the actions of the boys. There was a man who came out to like say what the boys did were wrong and the whole muslim community came after him and he has to like take what he said back like this it was this bad and i honestly believe that there's no religion superior to order like we should be honest with ourselves like religion is supposed to enable us to live a better life not for us not for us to be killing one another or this person does not believe what i believe in I have to kill you. Like, this person insults, I have to kill you. Like, it, that's not how it works. That was not even the purpose of it in the first place. I honestly believe that Islamic religion can be Listen, If it's me being honest, like, I've stayed with a lot of Muslims that are peaceful. Like, 
this is them being peaceful but like i really don't know based on what i've heard what i've seen about some muslims like that they are willing to go the extreme mile and i i i but based on what i've seen though i also didn't know that they are peaceful they are loving their givers like i honestly have muslim friends and like i took a year out of my channel to just make muslim content so i really understand religion in a way and i can say they are actually happy peaceful people but like muslim is still weird bro see you, you you understand the happy side of it which make people want to join the religion and you see the other side of it where when you leave the religion you'll be killed and you like shift back a little and when you hear about when you die you get virgins in heaven and you'll be like no even the bible says there's no marriage in heaven so you just have to enjoy your marriage on earth so that you get seven is it seven or seventeen 14 virgin i really don't know but i know you get some virgins in heaven and for me it does not make sense because i don't think there's anything like sex in heaven or there's no marriage so i don't think there's anything like that in heaven but guys what do you think about this tell it to like share subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time guys first